Hi, I'm Lynn Langett, and this is another short video about SQL Server 2012 Data Quality Services. We're still working with knowledge base management, and on this video, I'm going to show you a bit about the knowledge discovery aspect. So if I double click on this, that's going to launch the knowledge discovery. And I'm going to pause the video because in the um, pre release bits, this takes a minute to come up, and once this is open, I'll come back. All right, now the knowledge base management has opened up here in this section, which is the knowledge discovery. You can see in the upper right. So there's three parts to this. Um, the concept here is that you're going to uh, either uh, create a new knowledge base. Um, well, actually, sorry, you're going to add to an existing knowledge base with some um, data that you have either in SQL Server or in an Excel file. And you can see the interface, just like everything else changes, depends on what you select. So I'm going to use SQL Server here. And I selected um, one of the default, uh, the included uh, knowledge base, the one about geography information, just because it's easy to understand. So I'm going to use the sample AdventureWorks DW Denali database, and I'm going to use the DIM uh, geography, because that's going to have some information uh, that relates to uh, geographical information. And then from the DIM geography, I'm going to go ahead and select the city, and I'm going to map that to our, our knowledge base where I have uh, something that is related to cities. Let's see here, places is the one. So I'm going to say places. Now I could, if I didn't have domains, I could actually create domains. So I misspoke when I first was talking about this. You can't create a new knowledge base, but you can create a new domain. So you can see in here, the things you can do is add your column mappings, remove it, create a, a single domain, um, or you can create a composite domain, which um, we talked about in an earlier video when you're creating the knowledge base, just grouping them together. Um, and then you can preview the data if you want to. So once you do the mapping, and we're not going to make any new domains for this, then you click on the next. And that's going to take you to the next step, which is discovering. So let me click on that, and here we are. And uh, what it's going to do, it's going to pull the source data out, and it's going to um, statistically map it to the destination data and look for new values to add. So I'm going to click Start. And then it tells you to uh, go ahead and, and wait a minute. So I'm going to pause and then come back when this is done. Um, I'm back. It's in the second step. It's not quite done yet. The first step, it was loading the data from the source. The second step here, I wanted to show you it in process. It's running these uh, machine uh, algorithms on the data to do a matching of the uh, potential domain values with the existent domain values. So you can see we have 655 records. It's doing the check here and it's running discovery. Again, I'm going to go ahead and pause for the purposes of the video and I'll show you the results when it's done. Okay, so you can see the whole process took about a minute and uh, I'm uh, pulling up the profiler tab and you can see the results. You can see for this field, for this domain, there are um, 438 new values, 562 uh, unique, and um, uh, all of them are valid for the domain based on any rules that you might have associated with this domain. So now if I click Next, what I can then do is if um, there are these new domain values, I can uh, add them to the domain if I want to. So you can see inside the domain, it's suggesting 398 new values. And I can filter uh, by saying which values are correct for the domain, which values are shown as, um, and there they are, which values are error for the domain. And uh, this is what they're being corrected to. And I can say, well, you know, this one was not corrected properly, so I can set this as actually invalid, which um, indicates that it's not a city in this particular case. It should not be part of this domain. So I can make my corrections as I want to, and I can add or remove rows. I can also associate uh, rows together, and I'll bring this up here, um, where I can, uh, if I select more than one row, and let me give you an example, I can associate them together. Um, I can link them um, if I want to do that. And it says, no, I, it's not linked because it's, it has to be set as correct in order to link it. So you have to set them as correct. And then when I'm done, I just click Finish, and I'll add these values to the domain. So um, the three parts going uh, back to the original uh, section here is uh, knowledge discovery, which some people start with, um, a domain management, and matching policy. So this is the knowledge base section of DQS, and I'm Lynn Langett, more at www.lynnlangett.com.